Not to bop the builder right there. Oh my god. Hey, what's going on, everybody? From my basement, I'm Alex Hammer, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's a show with hot questions and even hotter <laughs> wings. And today I'm joined by Tom Chattelbash. He's YouTube's most reliable movie critic, and he's coming up on 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. You can check him out on YouTube at Chattelbash Reviews, and he's about to turn 30. Tom, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I didn't even know that this was a show of yours. So <laughs> I am thrilled to be here. So how are you with spicy food? You know, I think I'm pretty solid with spicy food. I mean, I'll sweat, you know, like the, the next guy when it comes to really spicy stuff, but I think I can handle my spice. What do we got? So we're starting off with a Hot Ones Buffalo Hot Sauce at 1800 Scoville Heat Units. And this is this way, right? It's starting this way. All right, cheers. cheers. Here we go. Mm. All right. Very like typical Buffalo sauce. So one of the really unique things about our mm -hmm. friendship is that I knew of you yeah. before we were friends. You I did. I watched your YouTube channel, of course, uh, when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. So my first question is, did you ever anticipate becoming friends with someone who watched your content? And have you had any other run-ins with fans? Um, I, I never anticipated becoming like really close friends with someone who watched my videos, just because like, I don't know, I feel like when you become a fan of someone's videos, sometimes you act strangely around them if you do happen to run into them. But like the fact that you and I had never met before and you just happened to have watched my videos growing up is insane. And then, so I think it made us becoming close friends a lot easier. And in terms of like run-ins, I've had like jobs where, you know, I'll be like taking tickets when I was a younger kid and someone would be like, Tom Chattelbash? I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I just watched your review. That's so weird. And I'm like, all right, well, you know, <laughs> Go enjoy your Rascal Flats concert. Um, you were a ticket taker? Where were you a ticket? I like Jones Beach. I, I used to like scan people's tickets oh, when I was a younger kid. And I actually had a few people recognize me there, which is kind of crazy. And then, you know, I once ran into someone in Florida. I was heading to the gym and he walked into the elevator and recognized me, which I thought was wild. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a very unique, singular experience. This one is the Angry Goat Blistered okay. Shishido and Garlic. 5,800 Scovels. Ooh, okay. All right, well, cheers. <laughs> mm. Interesting taste. I like it. You got some garlic in there. Oh, that like tastes it. really good. I, like I think it also it. helps I'm hungry, so. As yeah. I said at the beginning of the show, uh -huh. you've chosen to go by YouTube's most reliable movie credit. Yeah. So what went into the decision to go by that title, and what do you think makes someone a reliable movie credit? Honestly, I don't even remember the genesis of that catchphrase. I was just kind of toying around with some sign-offs, and I don't even know how I landed on it, but I just remember the first time I said it just like felt right and I kept using it and kept catching on and you know people would you know be like oh it's YouTube's most reliable and I think it actually really speaks true to who I am as a content creator where in my opinion I think someone who's reliable is someone who you not only can go to for an opinion you trust but reliable in that they're going to be consistent with their content and giving you the kind of reviews you can trust which I feel like I'm both which is why I've always kind of stuck with that name and why I think it still works today. What do we got at wig number three? We got the Isquia Spicy Sweet Passion Before we passion get to wig number three though, we should have let them know that your brother is behind the camera and he's also eating the wings with us. If you just hear a disembodied voice, that's him. So <laughs> Garrett, how what have you thought of the first two wings? Oh, not bad at all, you know. All yeah. right, we'll be checking in. <laughs> So at number three, oh, what is this one three? called? This one is the Pisquia Spicy Sweet Passion Fruit. Oh, right, this is the one I was very curious about. Okay. okay. You do taste the passion fruit. That one's strange. It's not great. Yeah, I'm not, not loving the I'm not flavor. I'm really liking the flavor of this yeah, one. Yeah, not for me. It's my least it's all right, it's a little weird. It's okay. my least favorite of the ones. Yeah, so definitely far. my least favorite so far. So, mm -hmm. before you work where you do now, you worked at an escape room. So I'm curious, working on the inside of that, do you have any tips or advice for people <laughs> uh, trapped in escape rooms? Maybe trapped in escape rooms right now. How do they escape, Tom? Well, <sighs> If from, from my vast experience being an escape room game master, I always say, like, don't overthink it. I feel like that's the biggest mistake people make when they go to an escape room. They're just like, everything's a clue, or this needs to be unlocked, or that needs to be unlocked. There's clearly a panel in the ceiling that needs to be removed. It's like, no, think small. Most of the time, look at posters in the room, you know, look at numbers, definitely pay attention to numbers. Look at the bottom of things, to the side of things. There's always clues and stuff hidden there. A lot of these rooms have very similar 
structures to them. So think simple, you know, see the forest for the trees, don't overthink it. And I think you'll be much better and a much more useful team member. Los Calientes Barbacoa. Ooh, that's the one I'm most excited to try. The official sauce of grillin' and chillin' brings deep, smoky notes of chipotle to anything it touches. Okay, All right, let's here we go. This one I'm really excited about. Oh, wow. I really like that one. I like the flavor of that one. Garrett? That's good. <laughs> That's right. That's, that's a, my favorite so far. That's definitely my favorite so far. <laughs> You've been posting videos uh -huh. on YouTube for over 15 years now. Yeah. Do you remember the moment that you started your channel? What went into the decision to become a YouTuber? And do you have your favorite video that you've posted thus far? Um, ooh. Like, I remember picking up like my parents' camcorder and just like wanting to make a video. And I was really getting into movies at the time. So I figured why not record a movie review and it happened to be for like Madagascar 2. I, I always vividly remember that was the first movie review I ever made. It's awful. <laughs> does it exist anywhere? It, it does exist somewhere, but it's on private. So no one can actually <laughs> see it. Um, not that they would really want to, my God. But it wasn't like I picked up the camera thinking, oh, I want to keep making videos. It's like I made, I was like, that was fun. And then it just kind of like happened again where I was like, all right, maybe I'll make another one. Maybe I'll make another one. And then, you know, I got, you know, some subscribers and I was like, okay, maybe I should keep doing this. And then it just kind of kept snowballing and snowballing and I got more and more into it. And 15 years later, here we are. Um, and then favorite video. Ooh, I recently made a video about, hold on. <coughs> Knew that was going to happen. I was trying to fight it for so long where I made a video about why I love movies and I put a lot of work into it and it came out just the way I wanted it to. And I think it's a great way to introduce people to my channel and why I love movies. So it's kind of like my channel trailer that I put on my homepage, but I'm really proud of that one. I think it came out really good. <coughs> oh, yeah, here we go. We're moving on to number five, which is Jablo. Okay. Okay. Let's do it, Jablo. Feeling this one. Yeah, right? this one definitely has a little more heat. This is definitely like a definitely a step up. Ooh, this, that's a sneaky bastard. Oh shit, it's creeping crawling. Garrett, checking in. Thank God spicier. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know how simple the responses are. It got spicier. This is definitely the first time I'm thinking of going for the milk. Oh, he's oh, going no. in. I'm not, but... <coughs> Damn, dude. Whew, must be the spice. Still going through, no milk, no water. I'm feeling good. So, 30th birthday. Yeah. You, of course, big birthday <laughs> coming up. This is what I was most excited for, just seeing you not be able to get questions out. <laughs> oh, that one really got to you, huh? Yes, it got to me a lot. So it's the 30th birthday. How does being 30 or about to be 30 compare to where you thought you would be, say, at 20 years old? Or if you're at 30, what would you be saying to yourself at 20 years old? When I was 20, thinking about being 30, it just felt so far away, A, and B. It felt like when I turned 30, it was gonna feel so scary and like, oh, you're getting so old, like you're an old man. But like, as I'm about to th turn 30, I'm not thrilled about turning 30 because it's like, you know, an end of, uh, I know your 20s, it's a little bit sad, but it's also kind of exciting. I feel like your 20s are just so messy, you know? Like it just, yes, there's a lot of exciting stuff, a lot of cool memories, you're doing wild things, trying stuff out, but mostly it's a very messy time where you're trying to find yourself, figure out who your people are, that sort of thing. So if I was 30 looking back at 20 and that, if I said anything to him, I'd be like, you know, go wild, go crazy, or, you know, make a lot of mistakes, you're gonna learn from them, and don't be scared of 30, it's really not that scary, and if anything, you'll be more excited to start a new chapter, so. I'm excited for the next decade. That's a good answer. Thank <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's a good answer. Moving on to number six, <laughs> Marshall's Whiskey Smoked Ghost. Ooh. 71,000 Scoville. Features fine ingredients like whiskey, white balsamic, and date syrup, plus Wow. Smoked ghost pepper heat. Okay. Cheers, boys. To Garrett. <laughs> I like the flavor of this one. I definitely taste the balsamic. Do you start. like the flavor of this one? Or... I do. It's unique. Well, it's good. I like that one. Ooh, definitely another sneaky one. Late bloomer. That's delicious, though. Garrett, checking in. What? what no, it's really good, man. It's got a late kick. It's got a late kick. I love how I'm checking in with your brother more than you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as this interview would suggest, you are, of course, a huge fan of the show Hot Ones. Naturally, now. Do you have any favorite guests and top episodes? Ooh. Uh, there's been so many good ones. I especially love the Jake Gyllenhaal episode. It's just so wild and chaotic and funny. Love that episode. I really love the Gordon Ramsay episodes because he's a little bitch and it just it's just hilarious. I also really liked the Paul Rudd episode. That uh, that's one of my favorites. 
and that's like the most, <laughs> probably one of my most used gifts that I use with a, hey, look at us. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things ever. I don't think there's any other good ones I really like. I mean, there's a lot of amazing episodes there and I really like how he's able to really get in depth with his guests. Like it's a silly concept for a show, but it's also really smart in that when they're so distracted by the heat, they're more honest and open. And I feel like I've learned so much about a lot of the celebrities that I love that I feel like I would never have learned if not for the show. Woo! Over there. We're Ooh. on. There's definitely like a lingering burn now. But Certainly. Hey, still no milk, still no water. Certainly a lingering burn. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting pretty tempted for the milk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> First one to yeah, fuck it. All, All right, right. What's up next? Number seven is Ginger Goat. 110 Scoville, which is a, a pretty big jump. 110,000? Okay. 110,000. Okay. That's a pretty big jump. That's a pretty big jump now. All right. All right, here we go. Carrot. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. Interesting flavor. I'm trying to see if this one's going to be a sneaky one. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk too soon, but this one does not feel... I feel like this one is less spicy than the last one. This yeah. one does not feel as bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. So you said your favorite movie of all time is Back to the Future. Indeed. And so much you have a tattoo of 88 I, miles per hour I on do. your arm. I do. So have you ever fantasized about time travel? And where do you foresee yourself time traveling to? And what do you see yourself doing there? Ah, time travel. <clears throat> I feel like I'd love to like go back to either like the 19, like 50s or 1920s, like somewhere around there. I feel like that'd be really fun. Cause I feel like there's such a fun time period in terms of like music and culture and just kind of like what people did for fun back then. I just thought it was so interesting. Or go back to like the 1800s and just kind of like hang out. I think it'd be really cool. Meet some of my heroes, see what happens. Like have a drink with Hemingway, um, hang out with like some of those great historical figures that I've come to learn and admire. I think that would be cool, but I, I would never want to travel to the future. I don't, I don't want to know what happens or anything like that. I'd rather just go back, experience the past, go around the world a little bit. No, oh, could be fun. The next one is Da Bomb. Oh, oh God. No. Now I've had the regular Da Bomb, but this is Da Bomb Evolution, so I don't know if this is gonna be worse. It's an all natural version that's equally as fun. <laughs> you see Garrett's face. He's looking at me, he's like, I don't wanna do this I'm one. So nervous. It's an all natural one that's equally as tingly as it's as it is tasty. Uh, I don't buy that though. Alright. <sighs> All right, boys, you ready for this? This one's gonna be a journey. I'm gonna let you know that. Cheers. 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 I'm scared of this one. Such an awful flavor. Ooh. I have to bob the builder right there. Oh my God. At the moment, I'm, I mean, it feels like it's gonna get worse. Oh, it's definitely gonna get worse. Um, the well, taste is terrible. That's awful. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> pure heat. Garrett, how are we feeling? It's very spicy. <laughs> Very spicy. Very spicy. <laughs> wow, that is hot. No oh milk, no water. This is a part of our show called Explain That Gram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing this? Okay. This is a part of our show called Explain That Gram. We do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram page. Pull interesting oh. pictures that need more context. Oh, I feel like this is the kind of hot when you breathe, it hurts more. <laughs> it's not good, man. <sighs> this is definitely like a definitely a step up. Jesus. Okay. Mm. Whew. The milk is not helping much either. Last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck okay. <laughs> me. need a refill. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. So nice of you. Garrett, everybody. <laughs> you can do this. Last year, you did a 90s party with your friends. What went into planning that? And have you done other decades parties? I actually forget the reason why we threw a 90s party. But this one, we went all out. We were like put like different items from the 90s, different foods, different like toys and stuff. We went crazy. It was so much fun. And as you see in the picture, me and my buddy dressed up as uh, the main character from Good Burger, classic. So that was really fun. Fuck, this is hot. Thank oh. you, sir. I will not yield to the milk. I will um, not. What's like your favorite costume you've done? Favorite costume I've done? Um, I don't know. I think the most fun one I was was Ted. Like it was a big teddy bear costume. And I just remember anywhere I went, people were going crazy. Like they want a picture, they want to like give me a high five, they'd like scream, how Ted! And I don't know, I just had so much fun with it. And I was in college at the time, so I was walking around campus in this huge teddy bear costume that was so blisteringly hot. Did not think that one through. 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. The bleached hair. What went into that decision? Do you regret it? Would you go back to it? Breakups make a man do stupid things, um, and that was one of them. I just, I felt like after a breakup, I wanted to do something radically different. I decided I'm gonna dye my hair, and I thought I looked awesome for a while, <laughs> and then I realized I did not. So I, uh, I let it grow out to its normal color, but yeah, not my best hour, not my best hour. Could you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that even has 21 likes, <laughs> Jesus. Could you replicate this face? <laughs> oh, let me see it. Let me even do, what was, is there, what, 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 do you know what the caption was? I'm curious. Um, no. I forget what the caption was. Let's see, hold on. There's a bit of a thumb action. Kind of looking cross-eyed, so I, <laughs> I can't even do this. I think I nailed it. <laughs> One of the things I had noticed in my deep dive of your Instagram was that there was a large stretch of time where you posted a photo of you making the same yeah. exact <laughs> <laughs> same face. <laughs> face. <laughs> the stupid smolder face. And I'm not done. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. When I was younger, I was very insecure about smiling and my teeth. So I would typically go for like that, like, closed mouth smolder. <laughs> I didn't realize how often I did it. But I could say I've graduated to smiling and I'm very happy with my teeth now. But yeah, it was definitely more of an insecurity thing, I think, more than anything. I mean, they got to a point where I was definitely trying to hone it in and trying to make it look, in my eyes, super sexy. But uh, <laughs> it kind of just looks rough. My sister has called me out on that several times. But uh, now I smile, people. Now I smile. I smile. And last, who won this game of Monopoly? <laughs> Honestly, probably me. I'm very good at Monopoly. And I'm also cutthroat, so don't fuck with me. Wow, that was that was wild. Trip down memory lane, thank you. We've delayed number nine long enough. I think we have. We're on to Dawson's hot sauce. 620,000 Scoville, which for the reference, the bomb is listed at 135,000 Scoville. So get ready for a spice rush. Oh, there's get also sweet maple it. syrup in there though. A sweet maple syrup. Maple syrup. Here we go. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. I taste the syrup. I also taste the syrup. Wow. It's a bizarre taste. I'm waiting for the heat on that one. I got like I, I definitely said, I definitely think the bomb was worse. I feel like the bomb just kills your taste buds in your tongue. So by the time you get to nine and ten, it's like nothing. Garrett checking it. Wasn't that bad. See? Wasn't that bad. After the bomb, nothing's really that bad. I still think the original the bomb is hotter than that the bomb. I agree. So you have a extensive collection of movie themed t shirts. Yes. Yeah. Wearing one right now. Yes. Of course, this one, yep. the Avengers. My Marvel Infinity War stone shirt. Yeah. What are your top shirts? If you could give like a top three <laughs> shirts. <laughs> top three? What top like... three shirts that you've purchased? I do love this shirt. I feel like it speaks to my nerdiness. I have an Indiana Jones one that I really love wearing. I think that one's really cool. And to round up the top three, probably my Back to the Future shirt. I have a couple Back to the Future shirts. So I'd say that would be my, my top three. And how many do you think you have? Way too many. All right, are we ready? Yep, here we go. This oh, is, uh, we gotta put a little extra on, right? It's the last dab, we call it the last dab because it's tradition to put a little extra <laughs> on the wing. All right. <laughs> you can do it. You want sauce? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Garrett, did you need some of this? Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> Oh, you gave yourself a lot. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, no. This is bad. Ooh, that smells pretty potent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. It's been a ride. Here we go, boys. Finish strong. Good flavor. Yeah. You actually think so? <laughs> yeah. So, wow. to close everything out, wow. we did it. As you know, I'm big into reviewing movies. I rate them out of four. You rate <laughs> them out of five. Uh -huh. When I rate a movie, I have a rating going in my head throughout the movie. I'm curious, do you have a rating in your head going throughout the movie? Do you come up with that after the movie is over? And last but not least, how would you rate this birthday gift? <laughs> <laughs> Usually I don't come up with a rating until after I watch it because sometimes a movie can like start as like, okay, and they get really good or really bad. Or a movie can start really good, get bad. So I usually, wow, that one was a late bloomer. Woo! I will not yield to the milk. <laughs>
I think I'm feeling the extra dab. Oh, oh wow. Feel it in my lips. Do you guys feel it in your lips? That one's interesting. Um, but yeah, I usually wait till after. But birthday gift, this is like an easy five out of five stars. YouTube's most reliable. Yeah. You've taken on the wings of death and now there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you, go. my friend. This camera, this camera. Let the people know what you got going on in your life. Well, um, turning 30 this upcoming Wednesday, that's wild. And if you're watching this, it's either on my birthday or after it. So, wow, I'm 30, I'm old. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Channel Bash Reviews. 15 years strong, can't believe it. Plenty of movie reviews, movie related content over there. It's a blast. Follow me on Instagram and all the socials. He'll put that sh stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but this was fun. This is hot. This is, okay, that last thing was definitely hot. But thanks for having me on, this was a blast. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone clap it up. Clap it up for Garrett, clap it up for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> a little thirsty? He did it. He... I did it. <laughs> yeah, take my vote, go for it. It's not helping much. Hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> 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 so aggressively so different from your normal voice. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Did I leave that in. No, leave that in. That's <laughs> great.